Okay, so I've gotten quite a few of the um, hexes put together in rows of four. And <clears throat> what I'm <clears throat> now doing is connecting them together. Um, I think I've got enough for a, a good size table runner. Um, <clears throat> and so uh, I just wanted to show you, <laughs> I think of things while I'm sewing that I need to tell you and, and uh, or that I should tell you. And one of the things is that now that I've been doing this for a while, I'm faster, right? So I'm I'm moving along a lot faster. Um, I'm able to sew a little faster now that I've got my rhythm going. And um, uh, when I say a little faster, I mean just a little bit faster, not, not very fast. But one of the things that I just did and uh, wanted to mention to you is that <clears throat> um, I reached a point here and I took one stitch too far. And uh, when I did that, I realized I needed to go back. But the thing you cannot do in the middle um, is hit reverse. And in my case, because of the way my machine is set up, if I hit reverse, it will reverse and, um, and cut my thread, uh, tie off. Um, and so all I did was I spun my item around to because my needle is going right left right left right left and I went one too far to the right I was turning left and so what I did is I just spun my item around and I hit it so it would do one stitch and I put it back where it was by means of just turning my fabric around um, and notice that my machine stops with my needle down that's a setting that I can do um, if you don't have that setting and when you stop, your needle is up, when you're doing this kind of a sewing, um, that leaves you with your fabric movable, right? If my needle was up, my fabric would move and that makes it really hard to put your needle back exactly where you want it. So anyway, um, I'm going to zoom in. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Um, so I don't know if you can see, you probably cannot at this angle, but my needle is down. It is in a position of about three or four stitches past this corner here. And like I said, when I stopped, I was, I was one stitch too far. And all I did is I turned my fabric around so that it would take a stitch and go back where it was, right? It's kind of a trick. Um, and then I turned my fabric around and I kept going. Um, so, um... I'm going to put my presser foot back down. And <clears throat> like I said, I'm, I'm not going a lot faster, but I am go, able to go a bit faster. And so this has been moving along pretty well. I've got um, 51 of these um, hexes done. I see I'm coming up to my corner, so I'm going to slow down. And because I'm turning right... I'm going to stop with my needle on the right stitch in the spot I want it in. So I go one over and now I'm in the exact spot. If I went one more stitch and it went to the left, then when I turned right, um, it would have me in the wrong position. And so now the next stitch is going to go left into the, to the spot I want it to go to. And as you see, I just keep moving my tape down. I've taped them together. Oops, wrong direction. I'll be going this way. I've <laughs> gotten confused where I'm at. I'll be going this way. And so, um, let me zoom back out just a little bit. So I just moved my tape from here to over here because this is where I'm going next and those are the two that are not connected. Um, and so I just keep going. And like I said, I've done um, 51 of these hexes. Um, I sat, I cut them all out, and then I sat last night while we were watching TV, and I glued them all to the cards. And so that had them all ready to go this morning. Now I'm on the right. I want to be on the left, so I'm going to go one more stitch, and that put me over on the left side. And I'm turning left, and I don't know if you can see. I zoom back in 
you can't see because my presser foot is in the way. But um, I am just on the beginning of this left block. And so <clears throat> um, I'm exactly where I want to be. If I was not, if I had gone one stitch too far, I could just turn my fabric around and go back. And so, like I said, I am able to go just a tad bit faster. I'm gonna move my tape. Um, the other thing is that some of these blocks I've noticed, I've really got to push them together uh, this way. Oops, you can't see that. Let me go back to normal. I have to kind of press them together this way to make sure that my edges are lined up and that the, the, the needle is picking up uh, both sides. Now again, it's not taking very much. It's just taking a small little bite of each side of the fabric, each each piece. And so it's only getting, you know, a, a few threads of each side of the fabric. But that's enough um, for this purpose. When, when I finish this, what we'll do is I will lay it on uh, a larger piece of fabric and I can do two two different ways I can um, go ahead I could do half hexes on the edges um, to get myself a straight edge and when I say a half hexy it's literally half of a hexy right and so if I put a half hexy in there and it was only you know this half I would then have a straight edge. Um, or I could, um, I can uh, do whole hexes and cut them off at a straight angle. Um, or I could lay just a, a, you know, five inch wide piece of fabric down here and stitch it on. Or I could lay the whole thing on a larger piece of fabric and applique it down, which is probably what I'll do. Um, and then just sandwich it and quilt it just like anything else, right? But um, let me finish this off, my last stitch or two. Oops, maybe went one stitch too far, but that's okay. Okay, so now I have um, 12 blocks together here. I have the original, the, the ones I started on yesterday, and there's 12 stitch. And you see how you can see through this one? Because I took one of the hexes out, you see? And, I, and then I ironed it down. So a trick is if you, now that I can, now that I've got these surrounded, I could take this one out too, because I've got something all the way around. Um, and I'm not gonna be handling the, the center pieces a lot, so I could go ahead and take that card out. Um, and I will, I've got 32 more, um, or 35 more hexes that I need to, to um, put on cards and get ready to go. Um, I don't know if I'll use all of them. I think I'll have like three left over. But anyway, out of the pack that I did, uh, two packs of five inch squares. And so what I'll do is then I'll sew these together. And so now I have this nice set of, and this will be about a table runner length uh, long. And um, put that right on that corner, right? Um, the other thing I've noticed is my thread pulls out on these as it does this beginning stitch. So I just give myself a longer tail back there um, so that it will not pull back through my, my needle when I get started. And then to get myself started, like I said yesterday, I put my needle, using my hand crank, I put my needle down to where I can see exactly where it's gonna go in. And then I just start again. And so um, when I get the ones that I have already prepared done, I will take the cards out of the center and I will prepare my other hexes. 
that I have cut but not in their card stock yet. And then finish this off and I'll have a nice table runner. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you where I'm at. Um, I know when you're beginning uh, sewing, um, it feels like everyone else is going so much faster and knows so much more than you do. But give yourself time as, um, as you learn, as you do stuff, as you try stuff, you'd be surprised at how quickly you learn, um, you know, how to solve problems. And one of the things about sewing is that every time you turn around, you've got a little problem. You've got to figure out how to get out of that, right? Like I said, with the, when I went one stitch too far, well, how do I go back without, you know, messing things up? Just turn my fabric around and it put it back where it was. But um, those kinds of problem solving, you'll get. It's just time. It takes time to learn these kinds of things. But like I said, um, I think of things while I'm sewing um, that I should share with you. And so I thought I would just do a quick little video to um, share these little tidbits. So uh, uh, hopefully these, uh, these videos are helpful to you um, and uh, that you learn at least a little, little something out of each one. All right. Thanks. See you later. I'll show you when it's when I get a little bit more.